Hey everyone, it's Keely here for Soy and Shay, and thank you so much for joining me for this video. Really, really excited about this one. Um, I knew this parcel was coming. It wasn't meant to get here until um, my time next week, um, but it actually arrived about five days early. So I'm really, really excited to be able to do this video for you. There is a little bit of a story that goes behind this. So while I get this open, I'll let you know how this all came to be. So back in July, I was watching a video that George had put out from Dawn Organics and he was using a big slab mold and I was keen to see how he was gonna cut it. And he pulled out this beautiful, beautiful soap cutter and he left links of where to go and get it. And it was over on Etsy. So I um, popped on over to Etsy and I actually earmarked it, put it into my favorites because at the time I was looking at the shop, um, it was a couple of weeks before I actually got the keys, but I knew this was coming up, so I was being very careful about the sort of money that I was spending. So I earmarked it and thought once all was said and done and the shop was all going well, I would go and get myself one of these soap cutters. Getting ready to actually go ahead and purchase it when the owner of the business contacted me and asked, or well, he said he'd noticed that I had favorited it, and he asked if he could actually send me one or that he would like to send me one, and that his wife does watch my videos as well. And it always puts me in a very, very awkward situation when you guys want to send me stuff because it, it just feels a little bit, I don't know, it feels odd, especially when it's something like this, but it also is very rude to say no as well. So um, I, I agreed that he could make me one and send it to me and I would um, do a video for him as well. So I'll leave some links down in the description box. I'm trying to get this off so I can actually reuse some of these bubbles. We are almost there. This has come to me from Vinny, who runs Soap Cutter AU over on Etsy. And I will leave links to his shop down below, because not only does he have this, he's got some molds, and he's also got some very um, other exciting plans in the works as well. But I'm almost through all this bubble wrap. <laughs> so I have all of that bubble wrap off it and here it is. This is my brand new log splitter and I am so excited about this and I am so grateful to Vinny for sending it to me as well. I do have a couple of log splitters, one that I've made myself and one that Dean made and sent to me to try and both of them do work really well but they do have a couple of flaws in them. Um, one of them is that when you use the log splitters where you have that single piece of wire and you push your soap through, I, I find there's a couple of things. If I've got a decorative top, I can sometimes knock the top as I'm pushing it through if the soap goes through on a, you know, a windy sort of line. I also find if the loaf is a little bit too long, it falls off the back of the splitter and then you end up with this really weird cut. And I've got the, as I said, I've got the two splitters. The one I made, I have got set up for one particular mold. And then the one that Dean has made, I've got that one set up to fit into his mold. But there is a, a big problem I find with them is that you don't get that much precision on the cutting. In terms of on the one mold, I end up with an awful lot of waste because I can't get a cut that evenly splits the um, the mold into three sections and I end up on the last count I ended up with about 400 grams worth of sample pieces out of the mold which is an awful lot of 
what you would term waste and really pushes the average price of each of the bars up. Now the advantage with having this style of cutter not only can you just then put your loaf on here and push it straight through so you don't um, end up damaging your loaf you don't end up with those wonky cuts when it falls off the end and that sort of thing it also has a brilliant measuring system which is one of the things that really drew me to this particular uh, model that he has so he has this measuring system on here and what makes this really good is that you can set the bar so we'll move that along here to whatever sort of size that you want now with the one mold that i've got ideally i really need the bars to be cut at 6.7 uh, so that i don't end up with a whole lot of wastage which is just so difficult to do on the other log splitters so now with this one i will be able to set my bars to 6.7 and cut them and get my three loaves out of the slab with very little waste and probably just get the ends cut off as sample pieces so i'm really looking forward to being able to have less wastage with my soap and just an easier way of cutting the soaps. So Vinny has also sent a spare wire for the cutter at the back of it as well. Um, hopefully I won't be needing that for a while. Now because I wasn't expecting this to arrive until next week I actually don't have any soap made up to put through the cutter so I'm gonna make that today. I had a bit of a think about it last night. I've been meaning to add some more of the luxury soap bars into my range but one of the things that keeps holding me back from doing that is the particular mold that I use is the split mold that I got from off of Dean when he had swell soaps and this is the mold where I end up with an awful lot of wastage from off it because I can't get it to cut um, the even slabs or the even loaves with my current soap cutters so I've decided I'm going to do my triple butter um, soap bar as a luxury bar and then we'll see if we can get it cut through on this one and not end up with all of that wastage that I usually end up with so I'm gonna go and get my oils and butters all ready and then we will make the soap So my oil and my lye water came down to room temperature and I've just mixed the two together. I'm pretty much going to do this the same design as what I did the original triple butter bar. So using some real rich earthy colours and doing it in layers. So first off in here I'm pouring off about that much. They may not be very even layers, we'll see what happens. But in this pot I have a mix of some mocha mica. There is some chocolate Mediterranean clay and some cocoa powder. So I'll give that a bit of a mix just to get the color right. So I love how dark this color goes just by mixing the clay cocoa powder and that bit of mica in here. And this is to represent sort of cocoa butter, that chocolatey sort of smell. I have a blend of essential oils for this one and I have found this one from off of soap calc and just done a little bit of moderation on it as well. It's got some patchouli, some orange um, bifold, some grapefruit essential oils, some bergamot and a little bit of cedarwood atlas. And it just smells so good. I think 
this is perfect for the triple butter bar that's going in this one. This is playing extremely well because I'm doing the layers. I really do want it to thicken up just a little bit more. So I am going to blitz it up with the stick blender. All right, so that is looking a lot better. This is the mold that I'm using. This is the one that Dean has sent to me. He actually sent me one and I purchased an extra one as well because I really do like the style of this one. So I'm gonna get all of this poured in here. And then what I'm gonna do is with that big pan, I'm gonna split it up again and we're gonna do another two layers. We'll do one where I put a little bit of titanium dioxide in there just to whiten it up. Um, and that's gonna represent the shea butter. And the, um, the top layer will be some orange, which will be for the mango butter. Okay, so there it is. There is the triple butter bar in the mold. I did have a bit of a change in plan. It just wasn't setting up very quickly. So originally I was gonna do textured layers, but it wasn't thickening up enough that I could actually texture it nicely. It was just flopping back down on itself. So I decided instead to be kind of gentle but rough with pouring the layers. They kind of dipped into each other. And then as you saw, put the chopstick th swirl through it as well to see what we get. So I'll leave this one sit overnight and then we'll be back very shortly and we'll get it cut up on that new new log splitter. Okay, so our triple butter bar is now ready for our molding. I've already taken the pens out because I needed them. I'm just going to take off my little Velcro tabs off the side of here. What I love about this mold is it now just splits open, making it so easy to pull these out of here. So let's get the paper off. Oh, it smells really, really good. I just got a burst of that orange come out of this. And let's go and get that slab splitter set up so we can actually cut three even bars of this one. Okay, so I've got the soap cutter all set up on the end of my bench. There is some big rubber feet underneath this one to really hold it securely in place. And then this also acts so that it doesn't slide across the bench as you are pushing it. So I know that my bench top is nicely protected. But the thing that I love the most about this is, as I said, this measuring system here. So with that mold, it is 19 centimeters. So to actually get three nice even bars, I need my um, my measurement to be 6.3, which is really hard to do on those other splitters. So here I can measure that to 8.3. I've tightened the little screw up to make sure that that doesn't move. The next thing I'm gonna do is tighten up this cutting wire on the back here, just to make sure that you don't want them so tight that they're gonna break, but you do need them tight enough that they cut nice straight lines. Now they don't always ping nicely um, like you hear them in videos, but you can actually see, or you may not be able to see it on the camera, but you can see in your um, eyesight that this actually now isn't flexing. It doesn't ping, but it doesn't um, flex when I'm touching it. So I know that that is tight enough now that it's going to cut a nice clean straight line through my soap um, and it's not so tight that it's going to break from that pressure either. So what I'm going to do is go and get that slab and we're going to pop it on here. So I'm going to pop my slab down on here. Whoops. And I know I'm at that 6.3, we're all nicely squared up and I'm just gonna push that straight through and oh, that cuts so well. 
and through we go. I'm just gonna split that apart a bit because I know if I let go generally, yeah, they all tip down, um, which is something I've seen them all do. So I'm just gonna pull it apart just a little bit, pull that one out the way and just pull it back so that we don't lose that top there. And we have got, oh, look at that. We have got our first one cut and I am loving how that has come together. Let's get the next one cut. Trust me, it won't be so awkward if I'm not actually filming and attached to my camera as well. Okay, and then just to show to you that I have got three nice even pieces of soap. Let's get that one so it's nice and straight. So you can see that the wire is touching straight on the edge of that soap. So I've got three even um, loaves of soap, which is absolutely brilliant because normally when I was using this loaf, I was cutting them to six centimeters, which then in, I ended up with a centimeter and a half extra piece here, which wasn't big enough to make a soap with um, and was an awful lot of waste. So now I'll be able to use this mold a lot more and know that I'm not getting as many, they're not really waste. There's a lot of sample pieces, but it does make each individual individual bar even more costly because of the number of samples. So I'm really, really happy with this. Let me go and get the bar cutter and we'll get these cut up into bars. So previously, because the bars were a little bit narrower, I was cutting them to three centimeters, but now because we've got that full 6.5 centimeters across, I'm going to cut them to the normal size and that's just so I end up with the correct size soap bar. So let's get cut through this one can't wait to see what swells we've got on the inside it's going to be so pretty oop all right so that first one is a little bit plainer than what i was hoping for but we'll see what we get as we go further down and look at that oh i love the swirl in that that is awesome and hopefully we'll get even more as we go further down the bar and oh, we're gonna get much more. Look at that, really, really pleased. I'm so happy I changed my mind with how I was going to actually pour these. Um, you still get those three very distinct layers. So I'm still representing that cocoa shea and mango butter in there. But those, the way that swirled in, I honestly didn't think I had that much orange. I must have um, poured a whole heap in that one spot. But really, really happy with how this has come together. It smells really good too. So this is gonna be a part of the luxury range. There's no brown in these ones, just little swirls. It's funny what soap can actually do. Oh, there's some more brown. So this will be, as I said, a part of that luxury range. If you follow along with me over on Instagram, you'll see when this one is ready. All right, so we'll cut into this end piece as well, just to have a bit of a look. We'll get it all lined up so I get my sample pieces from off here. Let's cut on through. And thunk. I love that this end piece is actually quite simple and clean, but how when we get into the middle, they start to get a little bit more intense with their swirl. So I want to say a huge thank you to Vinny for sending me this amazing slab splitter. It is so beautifully made and lots of detail in it as well. It just makes it so easy to use. I'm sure it's going to get lots of use down here in the shop. Now, if you are interested, if you're here in Australia and are interested in a log splitter like, or a log slab splitter like this one, go and check out the link down in the description box. It will take you through to Soap Cutter AU over on Etsy. Um, Vinny also has a single um, bar cutter listed on there and a couple of molds on there as well at the time of doing this video. Um, so go and check him out and see what he has on offer. I highly recommend it. Um, it's made cutting that loaf an absolute breeze without all that wastage. So thank you so much, Vinny, for sending that one through to me. 
Um, I hope you have enjoyed watching how I made my triple butter luxury bar. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. And until the next video comes out, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you then. Bye.